What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Cavalry's Packs. We open vintage cards. Uh, we're gonna see what comes out of these packs. We're gonna send them away for grading. I'm gonna let you know what we paid for it. We're gonna see how we did. Once they get back from grading, we're gonna follow up and let you know if we made or lost money on the box. So today, we're opening 1992-93 Topps Basketball. And this is a rack pack box. This has three Topps gold per pack. Should be a ton of fun. All right, 92-93 Topps Basketball. This throws me back. Very nostalgic for me. This is the stuff I was opening when I was really into sports cards. Really excited to dig into this. So this one, I want to call out a couple things. This one is authenticated by Baseball Card Exchange. That's very important. With vintage cards, they basically determine that this is authentic and it is not tampered with, which is very important when you're looking at vintage cards. So that gives us confidence that we're opening an untampered with box. Um, also, we paid $625 for this box. Uh, as far as what we're looking for, we're really looking for Shaquille O'Neal rookies, specifically the gold uh, version. The nice thing about this is there's three gold versions in every pack. Um, this box is gonna give us 24 packs. There's 45 cards in each pack, so it's 1,080 cards. So Shaquille O'Neal rookie cards, a PSA 10, a standard rookie is pushing about 400 bucks. A PSA 9 drops to about 80, um, but the gold version, that's where the money's at. The PSA 10 gold version is a $2,200 card. Um, if it drops down to a nine, it's still about a $300 card. So we're really hoping for some Shaq gold cards but a high grade rookie cards will get us our money back real quick. All right, let's do it. All right, so at the time they released these, they were not sealed. This is only sealed because Baseball Card Exchange has uh, authenticated it and determined that it's untampered with. So this is how it would have been in the stores in 1992, 93. All right, we got a lot of work to do. All right, so if you don't know, this is a rack pack. So it actually literally was built to uh, be displayed and sold on a rack just like that. You can kind of see through the front and the backs of these. But I don't need to see through them. I'm just going to open them. Oh, look at that. Right on the front, there is a Shaq rookie. I didn't even notice. Right on the front, off the bat. That's what I'm talking about. Looking pretty crisp, except maybe a little bit off center. If I had to guess, it's probably still a nine, which is good. We'll take it. Whole bunch of rookies in here. All right, now we're getting to our golds. At least there's, there's actually two golds in this one. Mark Price, Lafonso Ellis. Not the guys we're looking for. And there's a beam team. You guys remember the, the stadium club we opened? This is another version of Beam Team, not as valuable. I don't think these are real valuable, I'll have to look. It might be more valuable if it has Shaq on it, but that one doesn't. All right, so there were already two golds in the first little, there's basically three little packs to these rack packs. I already got two golds, so I'm thinking based off what they're saying, there should only be one more gold out of here. I really think the only thing we're really looking for is Shaquille O'Neal rookies. I don't think anything else is gonna be very notable. Although we'll put that Beam Team aside just in case. And the condition is looking pretty solid. I think the only thing that's gonna hurt us as far as getting a 10 with some of this stuff is gonna be centering. Man, I think that, I feel like that Shaq has a chance. We'll have to see. It's like the same exact pack. Crazy. Gold, oh, there's three golds. Did I get a third gold out of that other? I don't remember a third gold. This wasn't considered a gold, was it? I wonder if the beam team replaces. The beam team insert might replace a gold. I don't know. It says you get three golds though. The golds are kind of cool. So just so you know, I'll show them to you. So it's just got the gold foil for the name. Pretty cool. I remember these, they're fun. I think the normal packs, I think you'd only get one gold. So that's what's cool about these. You get three since it's the rack pack version. Dikembe Mutombo, that's Dikembe. Oh, he's like you know that name. Yeah, he's he couldn't really talk much. Cruising. I'm encouraged we've got one shack already, but I wanna see more. I wanna see at least one more shack and hopefully a gold. That's really what we wanna see. Oliver Miller, big O. Rookie, Oliver Miller rookie card. This guy was a beast, literally. Not literally, but he was massive. He was a first round pick. I didn't even know he was a first round pick. He was on the Suns and he was like way overweight. Oh, there we go. So there's a beam team that has Shaq on it. That's actually an unexpected little surprise. And this actually, so our first pack only had two golds. And what's interesting is it goes gold and then the beam team and then another gold. So I'm thinking this counts as one of our golds since it's like an insert, but it's not bad. I think that might actually have some value. It's a rookie, rookie year card. It's got Shaq, Glenn Rice, and Chris Mullen. And it looks like it's gradable to me. We'll see. Put that aside. Definitely some great players I'm seeing, but it's really not, nothing really has value other than the Shaq rookie, as far as I know. Maybe that Beam Team. Beam Team Shaq might be worth something. All right, here's some rookies. John Barry, Tracy Murray. That's it. Oh, Shaq. Bam, Shaq rookie right there. Not bad, and still like the centering man looks just a little bit off to me, but I don't know. You almost have to measure it. There's a little bit of a like dot down here. I don't know if that get, we get dinged for that or not. I mean, overall it looks sharp. I can't imagine it being worse than a nine. 
but we'll see. Set that aside. All right, already two. So no gold yet, but two, two regular rookies, and we still got a long way to go. There's a Pippin gold, it's kind of cool. Don't know if it'll be valuable. I'll put it aside just in case. Maybe if it grades high enough, it might be worth it. But still, man, even centering is still somewhat of an issue on these, it looks like. Sometimes I wonder if it's just my eye messing with me, but who's your favorite 92, 93 basketball player, Jordan? That's Rodman. Rodman, he would be your favorite? Yeah. Wow, you like the crazy guys. Yeah. Tom Gugliotta, Alonzo Morning rookie. I don't know if it's worth it or not. I'll put it aside just in case. I know we were, I think we were, when we did the 92, 93 stadium clubs, I'm gonna send some of those away. Sometimes it's just fun just to see what kind of grade we'd get. Although the back, look, I think you gotta worry about centering on the back too. This one looks like the front's pretty much perfect, but then the back looks like it's not perfect. Big O, I'm seeing more rookies. Come on, baby, where's the Shaq, Shaq gold? The Charles Sprewell rookie gold. Don't think that's worth it. He was good though. He also was a little bit of a hothead. Choked his coach, no big deal. Remember that? There. I gotta figure out what you remember. Yeah. Cheryl Spreewell choked his coach at practice and like got kicked off the team. It was yeah. a big deal and he was very good. Oh, there's a Jordan. Hey, actually, actually yeah, Mike has some potential. It's a good grade. I mean, a good uh, good condition for sure. Hopefully a good grade. But again, I just feel like we're just, just, just a smidgen off center on these things to where I think they're not getting us. Maybe that's why, I mean, the 10s are valuable and there's a reason. Right out of the pack, they're not easy to get. Oh, there he is, the greatest basketball player of all time. No doubt, yeah. Michael Jordan. Don't have to say his name. Just gotta say the greatest basketball player of all time. Everybody knows exactly who you're talking about. It's not even a debate. <laughs> Gonna rile some people up on the YouTube. Bunch of rookies in this pack, but not the one we're looking for. Christian Leitner, Latrell Sprewell. I remember actually Costco used to have these boxes and it was a big deal. I don't, they must've been 20 bucks or something. And Shaq, I mean, people knew you gotta get a Shaq. He was the guy to get. There's no secret about Shaq. I don't even remember, I just remember it being a big deal to like go get one. It was these exact cards. Not the rack packs, but the regular packs. A lot of morning, there's another Alonzo morning. Maybe worth it, I'll put it aside. I think that's one of those ones where if you're gonna get a 10, it might be worth it, and they might get a 10 out of that. It's looking like it's got some potential. There's like a pattern to these when you see them. Isaiah Thomas, when you start seeing the same guys, they're all like together, the same guys are together. If you get one or two more shacks, that would, money. If we get a gold, it's a big win. But our chances are dwindling fast. Alonzo Morning Rookie. What is that, our fourth? Yeah. Fourth Alonzo. Oh, another beam team. Same one we got before. Barkley, Drexler, Miller. We got two of that one. But again, there's only seven. But that's three, so to answer that question. And that does take place of one of the golds. I've definitely realized that. Another Jordan looking pretty crisp. Is that number four of those two, I think? We'll get the final recap here at the end. Getting down the nitty gritty. Five left. Brad Doherty, I think he was a former number one pick, now a NASCAR owner, actually. Yeah, first overall pick, 1986. Had a good career too. Average over 20 points several years. Now he owns NASCAR. That's why you should watch NASCAR, because it's pretty awesome. Shameless plug. Three to go. There we go. Shaq, looking pretty good. Shaq number three. We'll take that. It's another beam team. This one's got Jordan on it. That might be worth it too. It's our what, fourth? Fourth beam team? Kevin Johnson, Michael Jordan, Dennis Rodman. That's your guy. Or girl, depending on the day for Rodman. <laughs> All right, last one. Alonzo Morning. Is that fifth? Yep. Man, it's the Alonzo Morning box. There's another Jordan. That one's looking pretty crisp too. Oh, and the condition's looking good on all of them. I think just the thing that's gonna keep you away from a 10, I think is gonna be the just slight off center on some of these. All right, that's it. That's a lot of cards. Thousand over a thousand cards came out of there. All right, so recap. We got uh, five Jordans. We got five Alonzo Mornings. We got three Shaquille O'Neal rookies. That's the key card we were looking for. Didn't end up getting a gold, but that's okay. I think we still did okay. And then the Beam Team cards, we ended up with four. So there were four in the entire Rack Pack box. Um, one of them has Shaq, one of them has Jordan. Um, the other two are the Reggie Miller, Charles Barkley, Clyde Drexler. So I gotta look those up, I might send those in, but I'm definitely sending in the Shacks. Probably definitely sending at least a couple Jordans. Whatever cards we're not sending away for grading, I'm gonna throw back into the box and we're gonna send all of these cards to one of you. The only thing we're gonna ask you is leave a comment. Let us know your favorite basketball player of all time in the comments. So do that for us. We'll pick one of you to send this entire box to. Um, also, let us know in the comments um, what other boxes you'd like to maybe see us open. And then please subscribe. We've done other boxes like this. 
um, other box openings. We've done other, uh, we've done a collecting 101 series. We do Kaiser's picks. There's a bunch of cool series that we're going on on our YouTube. So make sure to subscribe and hit that, uh, hit that bell and uh, keep an eye out for more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching guys.